The question is one kind, one kind. <laughs> You marry as a virgin, and what are your thoughts or opinions of the marital um, relationships? Yeah, but just think of what. Fine, you made a mistake. That doctor, that's not the end of the world. Sex before marriage is not good. A desire burning like a fire. What you gonna do when it crumbles down? Watch you get higher. Hi, guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adel Doi. Thank you for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, once again, my name is Adil Doi, and on this channel, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about God, I talk about sewing tips, I talk about everything in between. And for my returning subscriber, thank you guys so much. And then, if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and turn on your notification bell. Yeah. So today, I know you can see my beautiful baby here. Yeah. So today, on this channel, I'm with my beautiful cousin. What's her name? Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Timelay. Uh, she's my cousin, I think. Yeah. My little, not so little cousin. This one is Eddie, my madam. Not so little cousin. And we are here to just have fun on this channel. And today, she'll be just. I'm just. Yes, because <laughs> well, you're putting me on the other spot today. Okay. She's coming here to ask me some questions. And I'm here for it, actually. And yeah. yeah. Let's okay. get started, right? Yeah, so I think we're doing like a sister tag questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be asking her a few questions that younger sisters are like afraid to ask their older sisters or aunties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So, talking about younger sisters, we are like nine year gap. Yeah, yeah there's no gap between us here. Yeah. Not in the age. I don't ask about age. <laughs> nine year gap. I know your age. I know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. So, it's very easy for people to be because like nine years is a is a lot so sometimes <laughs> you may feel like since we're in different generation you can't really um me i'm jersey okay. <laughs> i am okay. jersey over. <laughs> okay, okay okay so you may feel like um you're too scared to ask some questions but i'm going to be asking some of the questions that most um younger siblings are interested in asking their elder sisters so i'm on the spot Sha. in yeah. case you guys should just watch that. Okay. Okay, so the first question. Okay. Okay. Okay, so my first question here is how long did it take you to find yourself? The reason why I asked this question is because um I'm in my twenties now, so I'm realizing I'm navigating adulthood and figuring myself out. So I just wanted to know like how long did it take you to find yourself? So when you talk about find yourself in terms of business, relationship, God or what? Mm, it's everything included. Okay. Yeah, more like your identity, like how you uh, figured out that okay this is my principles this is who i am this is what i stand for okay, okay. Mm. so um i've always been this girl with um even as a small kid i think i've always had this different mindset i've always had focus even as a young kid even as a girl at secondary school because i went to a partner so i've always had, i'm always the girl on my own i have my own mind I don't wait for mommy and dad, even though they have a lot, uh, a lot of, um, how would I put it, a lot of things to do, you get. But um, I would say I figured myself out when I was in SS2, SS1, I know what I wanted as a SS1, SS2, you know, just, even though it's kind of funny, you know, but really, when it comes to um, relationship, I know that when I was in secondary school, I remember someone asked me out there, and I thought, but I cannot date anybody if I'm in secondary school. So I've started that principle, like I've set, I've set that standard for myself already that, okay, this is this. So I knew that I might be distracted and I'm still young. You my mommy hear about it, my mommy will beat me, my daddy will scold me, you know, those kind of things. And maybe because I went to a girls only school, we are always taught about no boy, no boy, no boy. So all those things are already on my head. So I know that I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil that, um, let me just the training that my parent has put in me and what I had in church, you know, those normal morals. Because mm -hmm. I know that there's no how you're going to have a relationship as a tender age, as a little girl, that you won't misbehave. Let me just put it that way. You mm -hmm. won't go a little astray, even if you're not fully astray, you know. So I knew that as at SS1, SS2. And um, when you talk about God, I've always been a church girl, <laughs> you know. 
You know already, you know my mom. <laughs> so I've always been a church girl. We're always in church. In fact, if my dad wants to punish us then, if you want to punish us then, you tell us that if you don't do this thing, I'll not allow you to go to church. <laughs> and we'll start crying. So she know how churchy we were. Yeah. So we're kind of a church girl. So I understand God's moral already because mm -hmm. because of where where I come from. I understand the standards already. So that has sticked to my head. Mm -hmm. I will not say I'm born again as a then. I don't want to put I'm born again then, but I understand the morals and the value that our mm. parents have already put in us as a then. I won't say my mommy sat me down to talk about sex education. She never did. She never did. Even when I started my period, mm. she I didn't even tell her first. So <laughs> she did my mommy did not sit down anywhere to teach me about sex education. Even now we are preaching that people should know. But I know. Mm. I know those things. I know what is wrong. I know what is right. I don't know. Maybe just maybe that's kind of how God just built me. So I know what I want right from time. To, even time of okay. Funny thing as an SS one, I used to say, um, I'm going to finish my secondary school at I think sixteen then or seventeen years then. Mm -hmm. Then when I finish, I went to university four years, I'll marry at twenty one. Yeah, I have those <laughs> I have those plans on my head already, you know, yeah. because I just want I feel like it's just that smooth. You mm -hmm. get, and that has always been my dream. There, even though <laughs> I didn't get married until how many years later, you get. But that was so. You know that I've always had this um, standard. I mm -hmm. have, I have plans for marriage, good marriage, even as as you think that age. That's your question. I'm just mm -hmm. that. No, it, it kind of answers. So it, basically, what I got is that you already knew yourself. You had a sense of identity right from when you were in SS two, yeah. and you just built on that. Yeah. So yeah, I, I understand that. Okay, that takes me to the next question. <laughs> so how do you handle transitioning from being a baby girl, a ah. single lifestyle, mm -hmm. to becoming a married woman? It's not easy. That one. <laughs> See, I'll just say it's God, just God's grace because it's really something that can change your life for you. Like, it can even stop your life. It's not a bad thing. Being a mother is not a bad thing. Even being a married man is not a bad thing. But there are some things that's going to change about you, you know? Mm -hmm. And you are not ready for it. Everybody just, everybody just say it online. Ah, just, everybody has their own um, experience. So what I'm going to express, I have a, thank God I have a loving husband. I know you, you express a little, but the thing is, you no, even they, they actually are very cute. If you see them when they're happy, they are you <laughs> too. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so the thing is, um, I remember when we, because I knew my husband for almost three or four years before we got married, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember when we got married, we had a plan. We just want to enjoy ourselves, even though we are married, we want to still look like they're young. Those the single guys still go out, still party, still do all those things. We don't want to get pregnant. We just want to enjoy the moment, like every other people thinks about. And God said no, <laughs> that you're going to get pregnant about after your wedding. <laughs> and you know, and everything just changed. We went from good to bad to ugly to sweet. You know, everything, just, especially me, because even when I gave birth, after I, I gave birth to my first, our firstborn. I have a it. Everything just changed. Even to now. I used to be a size eight. Mm -hmm. My waist was twenty-six. I used to be like let me just say the two. name was snatched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now I, I struggle. I struggle with every like okay, my sometimes I wear those clothes I used to wear as a as a as a size eight, I still I'm still going to make sense. Like I'm still going to look chicky and you know, you don't need to do too much. Yeah. But now as a size twelve, fourteen I find it so I just find it difficult. I have a friend, we always talk about this thing every day. Like, I'm just tired. I don't know I'm going to figure out myself. I don't even know what to wear. I look like an old woman. I, you know, all those things. But I think after some times, you just have to figure out figure out yourself. I know. And what I did most is I watched people online. I don't mind if it's fake life, if it's true mm -hmm. life. But I watch people online that have one, two children and how to try to dress, how to try to to work with their business, so I, I when I, once I try to follow those people online, I, I'm always trying to check like, okay, since this person can do this, so why am I limiting myself? So mm -hmm. I try to pick from different people, mm -hmm. get I because I didn't want to just limit myself because mother we can limit you to a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, you kind of answered um the question because my next question was going to be what is it like entering motherhood, having no. your first child? No. So you've answered some of those. 
Christmas. Yeah, I can still add some because I remember when I gave birth to my first but my mom was like, Can you see that motherhood is sweet? Like, there's a way they would tell you that, show to the bush, right? Mm. You know, <laughs> and all those thoughts, and I understand what they mean by that because. Mother, being a mother is another power. Like you have another supernatural power. You know, sometimes I tell you, ah, Tim, I like your life. You just wake up, sleep. Me, I'm already thinking, what are we going to eat? You know, all those things is just there. It's just there, you know. And you just, at the same age, you will believe you can do all those things. It's when you enter that thing that you know that yes, I have a responsibility. I have children that are looking up to me. I have people that even my husband is looking up to me because <laughs> babe, what am I going to eat? <laughs> you know, and you know, all those things then you you just have to just sit up. You mm -hmm. get you just sit up and go go I don't know, go just give that divine power to women. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. I was going to ask this question, it's not part of the list, okay. but like um have they usually say like when you have that child like all the pain you went through the nine months the labor everything you forget you it, forget it. Ah. like is that really true because i i'm a nursing student and i was you know i watched a labor and truly the woman literally forgot all the pain but i was wondering like how do you forget you how know, many hours i won't say you will forget but it's not you, you just that like you will not dwell on it that much you know if you if you want to say okay uh because of the pains Okay, let me just put it this way that the reason why they say you forget is that because someone that went through that labor mm -hmm. or that pain, you don't want to have sex again. <laughs> because you don't want to go through that thing. I remember yeah. a lot of people, I don't want to do it again. This is my last. You still find yourself doing it get. So, um, that's, a, that's the only way I would say that maybe you forget about it because you, you just want to get the other moment. Then you mm. forget that ah, this, if I get pregnant again, this is and this and this. So, me, I don't think you can forget because it's a memory that somebody can forget. You always remember. I remember when I gave it to my daughter. I remember everything that happened. I remember the labor. I remember the time I gave it to her. I, even my second born, I know everything. If you ask me today, I can tell you everything. The oh, time the how time. I entered the, uh, the, uh, to the, the labor, labor room, room. I, I, from labor room to theater, everything is still on my head. Even the first day of breastfeeding, I was having issues with my nipple. I remember everything. I can't forget just that. You don't dwell on those pains. Because mm -hmm. when you see your bond of joy, your children, you know that, yes, this is the reason for the old stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, there's no love like a mother's love. <laughs> there's no so, I, I really appreciate my mom, but I can't lie. Four children. I give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> she tried. So, my next question is, how did you know that your husband was the one, you know, that's your partner for life? <laughs> <laughs> was it like, did it happen in one day? Like one day you just realized that, oh, this is the person. Or was it like a over time based on what he has been doing so um my husband is not my first boyfriend mm. i had other boyfriends mm. and i know every experience i have with each boyfriend mm. you get and i know like i told you i know my bridegroom i know where i'm coming from so mm. i know the kind of man i want to get married to i know the kind of man i want to say i know i have a plan for my marriage like this is how I want my marriage to look like and this is the kind of husband i want to have Fine, I will say those guys I was dating. In fact, people I was dating invest were just playing. That was a relationship. But you know, after I invest your towards my friend I year, that's where I was dating. I was standing the side of okay, I want to get married. So if I meet a guy today, fine, I'm out of of getting married to you, but your character, the way you behave determines how far we'll go. Mm -hmm. I have someone that that was a good story another friend, very terrible with anger. Mm. But he, he has a temper. But I knew that <laughs> this will not even go anywhere. Mm. Even when they were try people were trying to buy ah, it's a kid, can't beg you, can give you kids. <laughs> I knew that it's not going to go anywhere. It's a long story. That particular relationship is a long story for another day. And when I met this guy, that's my husband, mm -hmm. I didn't meet him directly. I met the sister first. And the mm. sister was my friend. So you know, we're just friends. You know that I had a boyfriend. I was in a bad relationship, let me just put it that way. And we're just just about Boys, general. I was like, ah, if you meet my brother, my brother is this, my brother did this to me, my brother is a, this, this. He, he was, we're just talking based on natural, we're not even talking about dating then, she was just telling me about a family, and she said a lot about this particular brother, after AYS came, we went to their house, like, after, we were serving a bell with her, so we went to buy them, and the first day we came, got to the house, we knocked, 
and somebody came to open the gate and it was this tall guy I don't know that was this tall guy. guy you know <laughs> and that was the brother she was talking about okay. fine what I saw that day I like that too but I can't like a lady I can't mm -hmm. go and push the man but I will set myself yeah so the man will see me okay you know let me just put mm -hmm. that way and after all you know he was doing a lot of things fine I've had a good by brother about him mm -hmm. and whenever what those, those things I had about him was like ah, ah if a man can be this good <laughs> but I have to still see and taste for myself you get mm. even though they ask me how immediately or any other thing but after some time based on what he was doing based on everything he was doing I didn't say he's the perfect man but based on everything he was doing and based on what I had the standard I have the kind of man I had on my head that I want to get married mm. she, there was, she was, it was like 80% or 70% so that was an mm. and one day he went to drop me off at the park. I was going to upgrade my people, mm. and I just find myself crying inside the bus. I was like, Ah, do you, are you okay? You know, when you are crying, <laughs> you are trying to so you just get go now. So I just tell you, not see it. I, mm. The next day, I was wrong with you. I said, Don't worry, don't worry. I was, I was tearing like mm. that. Was like, that. Okay, something's wrong somewhere. You know, oh. I think that's that's <laughs> when I knew that I was, and this guy was not in love with me then. Just put it that way. Okay, that was what I knew. Yeah. Question is kind of like it's, it has a lot of question in one mm -hmm. question. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So the question is, how do you navigate friendships, keeping your identity, your individuality separate from being a mom and a wife? Like, because I know, like, when you get married, it's very easy to lose yourself. You, you're just feeling that role of a mother, a wife, you know. Sometimes you is I've heard like stories of some some married women that they stop talking with their single friends because they don't, either they don't have time or they feel that their mentality does not align mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, I always used to find that odd. I guess sometimes you can also like you know get married friends that have the same mentality, but I always felt like um if those single friends were like your your guys before you got married like that's part of your self your identity mm -hmm. so like how do you navigate all of that so i think i mentioned this in my channel that any friend you have that you know that when you get married you can't keep or you can't continue to talk that means they're not good friends mm -hmm. they're never your friend that means you guys are not having the same value so just before you even get married just say the friendship because mm -hmm. if i have a friend that i cannot talk to when I get married, so I, like I said, someone somebody did for me too, mm. and didn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> she got married, and that was it. So now we're not talking. Mm. And thank God, everybody we are different. I don't even know where she is right now, but I know that she's maybe a kid too. She's mm. an adult, I guess. But we're friends in school. But then I now realize, okay, we're not that f we're not that friend that um talks about. Okay, we talk about boyfriend, like no matter you no know, girls mm. and then, but we're not that. F friend that need to be that close we are friends to mm. meet we are just friends that read together oh okay because we're, we're both cosplayers that we're just that friend that wants to read together and pass together because during exam she comes to my hostel to stay because she sleep mm. she live outside school so mm. we're not that kind of friend we're not that deep close. friend mm. and i found that friend that was even before we got, before I got married said so we're, we're best friend we literally wear the same clothes we mm. use the same we make the same air and she realized okay maybe me i'm this kind of social person i love to be on social media mm. i want people to see me and she's this kind of reserved person and mm. she said okay i think this friendship cannot work again that mm. was when we grew and i understand that so there are some friends like that mm. but getting married i still believe till now my friends that i have there because as a single lady when i was living in Ibadan, i we had, i have friends that stays with me i can still say till now even though it might not be every day Mm. We still talk, mm. and I still have one that that one we have we refer for married for. Mm. Even as I got married, one time she's on leave, she will still come to my house in Lagos mm. to come and spend and live there. So there are some friends like that you get, mm. but uh, truly sometimes being a wife and a mother can make you lose your friends because mm. those time you guys have together, 
to go out to gist you need to, you have your husband to gist with don't forget you have your children to cater for and then all they do is to wake up go to office press phone sleep but you have a lot of things you're thinking about so sometimes check up with your married friends it's not that maybe they will just want to neglect you they have a lot of things going on there and if truly you two you're a good friend you will understand and you try to help her i think that is it okay yeah i think that that kind of answers the question Anyways, hmm. this so one question, is saying... I'm not even laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because these are some of the questions that I'm thinking. I feel like I'm getting to that age, so like I should start thinking about you know yeah. things like this. So I hope I'm answering this question very well, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so um oh this one is a very <laughs> very <laughs> is the question is one kind one kind. <laughs> So um the question is did you marry as a virgin and what are your thoughts or opinions on premarital um relationships? Yeah, I did not marry as a virgin. I did not marry as a virgin. But I was never a useless girl. Like I don't want to put that way. I was never the girl that jumped from one guy that access from one guy to somewhere. Mm -hmm. I was never that girl. <laughs> I was never throughout my university days, I never did. Mm throughout the time I was in school. That was only when I had good enough time. That was when I had to, like, to do a lot of things, right? But I did not. Mine was like a circumstance which I don't want to go through. Like I told you, I was in a bad relationship before mm. I met my husband. So that was situation that I found myself. And I wish I was a virgin mm. when I got married. I wish everything happened on my wedding day. Like we used to think about that's always been my dream, that's always been my wish. And I've and like what God says, your body is the temple of God. Fine, if you made a mistake, that the, the as of the end of the world. Mm. It's when you're not doing that mistake. I've already done it, I've already, let me just continue. That is mm. when the oh voila not day. You know? But if because okay, if something if if, if they rape you, uh, will you kill yourself? No. But if that thing has happened, sometimes you find yourself into that. Like, I was watching a video today on Instagram, as if you asked me that question. The lady said her boyfriend cheated on her because she did not give herself to her boyfriend. Mm. And he asked the guy, why do you cheat on me? The guy said, because you caused it. And she told you she admit that she was the cause of the guy cheating. Mm. Because the guy, the guy said, he did not give what I want. So she gave her, the guy gave her, she then gave the guy what the guy wants. Ask me, did she marry the guy? No. <laughs> so don't change your standard because one guy is saying, Yeah. Uh, go, go and get what you want outside. That mm -hmm. I have someone too that I dated because he could not touch me. Maybe I would have married that guy because he did not touch me. He went, he has another girlfriend he was touching and get girl pregnant. And I have to get married. I cried, 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 cried my eyes out. And that was when, that was when I met. The wrong relationship I was talking about because mm. I reached into that relationship mm. for comfort because somebody that I, that I trusted, someone that everybody in my family has known, and everybody just impregnates one girl. Mm. The girl was really his girlfriend, but me too, I was the I don't know how to put that. That girl was being has been his girlfriend for a long time, and the funny oh. thing is, that girl you are talking about, we have a mutual friend. Whoa, so <laughs> let's say the guy's name is Oladi Meji. So when the other girl is talking to that mutual friend about that guy, you say hola. Mm -hmm. And when me, I'm talking to that mutual friend about that guy, I said Dimeji. Oh. So we did she didn't know that we we're talking about the same, the same guy until when that thing now happened. Mm -hmm. Do you get? And thank God, yeah, they are, they are married, they're happily married. Wish them good luck. And <laughs> imagine I would be imagine that girl, fine, some of them I know some of the guys. Um, maybe later, maybe some of the ladies, maybe the way she got pregnant for the guy, mm -hmm. some guys might never accept the pregnancy and you'll be there, you'll be there for life, single mom for life and what she didn't plan for. But thank God the guy, the guy accepted the relationship. But because me, I could not give myself to him. He just used that one as an excuse. Mm -hmm. So look, okay, I won't keep this one. But I will see the fire outside. <laughs> Another kind of gist. Mm -hmm. So that was what he did. So please, because um, the guy is, that one is a lie. Let's, God's standard is still, is still, the main thing. Let's just follow what God is saying in the Bible. I'm not trying to be over spiritual here. Like, thank God for forgiveness. Thank God for salvation. Mm. If not, I don't know where. I, maybe I will never be because I will have lost myself. Me too. I felt, ah, oh God, my life has ended when it happened. But mm. God picked me up. You get. 
and thank God for my mother. There's nothing that happened to me as I then I want to know. And thank God that I have a good mom that could mm -hmm. help me retrace my step back. Mm -hmm. That you don't need to lose yourself because this has happened. And thank God for salvation, like I said earlier, and forgiveness of sin. So I'm not a holy person, I do say, but sex before marriage is not good. Let's let's be sincere. Okay. So help us God. Amen. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last question on my on my list. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's how was it like building your business? Like what were the processes? Were they like, you know, like things were good or bad? Mm -hmm. Like how difficult I, mm -hmm. was that? So I started a, I started business at um, I think when I was in two hundred or three hundred level. I went to learn a um, makeup. From someone, we're, I think we we're on ASO strike then, mm. so I just used the opportunity to learn from someone and I started doing makeup. I stopped doing makeup in 20, 2017, you know, yeah, I think 2017 was the last time I made makeup for a bride, so mm. I stopped doing that job. And 2015, I went to a fashion school again and decided to start my life all over, you know, do a lot of things. I love business, so so I must say that it has been the sweetest thing ever mm. but thank god it's because i have passion but sometimes you see your friend i have a lot of in short i have a particular friend that she's now times 20 of wherever we, we started together mm. but she has moved a lot mm. because i was i used to say this she asked people that could assist her she came from a world uh, to do family mm. that you know daddy please give me another care there mm. and we, but me and we all laugh. <laughs> Nobody's giving anybody anything anywhere. So the little I have, I used to sustain myself, even as a single lady. That's what I used to eat. Sometimes, thank God to that woman, I used to say, I can in front of my house, nobody. <laughs> Sometimes that's what I we eat all through the day. You know, I would buy so close for customer. The money that we used to eat is, you know, I just struggled through that business and. I also, when I got married, fine, thank God for my husband, he established my business in Lagos. And I was doing very, very fine. As I then, I'm very sure that if I've not moved from located to Canada, mm -hmm. maybe my business would have been more out there by this time. Because mm -hmm. I was already doing so well before I located. And I don't regret that. I don't regret that at all. Because I know that this is another starting point for me. Mm -hmm. And this place is going to be better. So there's always up and down in businesses. There's no way you can. Business is just like a risk. Just take the risk, and when things start coming out, when you start seeing the profit, then you'll be happy. It's not like people that are collecting salary, that like, whether you work very well, sometimes you don't work very well, you still collect your salary. Yeah. Not in this Canada, if it's not work, if it's not, <laughs> if your time is not correct, your money will not be complete. <laughs> but you know, just that kind of thing. So, the business is not like that. Sometimes you might even, sometimes you might get millions, sometimes there's millions in your account, like, ah! Show me money millions. I might not have this millions. Mm -hmm. And some days you zero 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 balance that will be in your account. Mm -hmm. You know, just to understand that this is business. There's sometimes there's profit, there's sometimes there will be loss, and there's sometimes there will be in between. You know? Mm -hmm. But what is driving you is your passion. It's mm -hmm. not the money. Because if it's the money, we just be changing business every every annual, every every, every day. Mm -hmm. you get so that's it. Any other question? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm done with my list, but I just wanted to ask, like, how was it like, um, because you had your support system in Nigeria as a new, newly wed, well, not newly wed anymore, <laughs> but <laughs> not five years at that time, time. <laughs> <laughs> newly wed, like, your mom could be, like, they can come, yeah, assist you with the yeah. baby, all of that. How was it like, you know, transitioning to moving to Canada where... Canada is very individualistic. Like you have to <laughs> do figure everything out, everything out by yourself. So uh, when I first got here, it was kind of difficult. Uh, I, me and my husband had a lot of arguments. But my husband is this kind of person because back in Nigeria, like we said, I have support. So before I go to get about babe, can you help me carry that from? I'm mm. calling somebody else to do that for me. Mm. Babe, can you help me pick that thing? I'm somebody else is doing that. So when we go here, if I do something, because what am I calling you? I can't do it. I don't used to do it for you before, mm. you know. But after some time, we got to understand that okay, this guy, this is us. Mm. This is us. So we need to do this together. Nobody's here with us. Even if anybody comes around, like when you came, you know, sometimes I don't bother to call you that big thing. Come on, mm -hmm. so even if anybody comes around, 
we don't want to lose that focus like this is still us because the person we go it's still be us mm. so we try to to create those times for ourselves we try to plan it okay you you do this me i'll do this you you do this i think you, you mm. notice that in the yes. and it has been working for us and thank god that both of us understand ourselves i did not that before we even understand ourselves there was argument and never mm-hmm. but now we understand ourselves i know you know that my husband wash plates most of the time yeah even mm-hmm. even the fact that tim is there he doesn't even wait he just wait stay and leave <laughs> and the same thing I, nobody will tell me to cook and any of us maybe any of us is sick mm-hmm. or somebody is tired somebody will buy the children and everyone will move and go we come back again the next day we we'll start our life again mm-hmm. so that's how, that's how it has been and it's been okay i like mm-hmm. things like that that's very good well those were all the questions I had. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so I've been on the host with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole um, interview. I won't record this right now. Your <laughs> questions. <laughs> and don't worry, she's shy, but don't mind her. She's a lie, she's not just shy. But I think you guys enjoyed the chat. I hope you enjoyed Just the questions she asked and if you have a point about it, you can just put it in the comment section. She'll be reading it. She wants to learn, like she said. So put it in the comment section and we'll be reading it and I'll be answering some of the questions. And if you love what you see, if you want to bring more people here to just do all those questions, tags and everything, just put it in the comment section. We don't want to do any immigration stuff again. We just want to do a lot of things that every other person can enjoy this channel, you know. And I will see you in my next Tell them to subscribe. Oh, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.